All right, everyone, this is uh, Coach Miranda Miner, and uh, I hope you are okay today. Time check, it is 9.59 p.m. Manila. It is Saturday, it's August 14, and uh, it's 9.59 in the morning there in uh, New York, uh, exactly 10 o'clock. And of course, it's also 5 o'clock p.m. there in uh, Abu Dhabi or in Dubai. So wherever you are, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I hope you're doing well today, and welcome to another edition of Coach Miranda Miner's Crypto Night Live on a Saturday. We have a very, very special guest for today. Um, he's a very, very special person. Uh, and obviously, we're very privileged to have um, him as one of, as our guest no? for the for this month of August. Before we start, I'd like you guys to just type number one if you could hear me really well. Type one today if you can hear me really well. And um, I hope that uh, I'm coming in very clear from an audio perspective. Let's all give 100% support, no? Give 100% support from our guests for today. Let's give them a warm Mir Global Miranda Minor hug and a Global Miranda Minor 
Hello. All right. Just type number one, guys, if I'm coming in very clear from your end. And uh, I think without further ado, we could officially start. But just want to give a few announcements before we officially start for today. All right. Before we officially start for today, I'm going to be giving a couple of announcements. And uh, I'd, I'd look forward for your participation. And uh, I'd look forward for uh, your support, right? So as you guys would have known, obviously, before we start our program, we are still uh, on our raffle giveaway for 25,000 uh, peso raised to 25,000 subscribers. Our last day is tomorrow. Our last day is tomorrow for you to win a brand new Samsung A7 Lite. No? And then the second prize is a Realme C25 cell phone. And the third prize is... Uh, 3,000 pesos, 3,000 pesos, um, uh, and a Global Miranda Minor shirt and a Global Miranda Minor mug. All right, so we're still promote our promotion is still alive. And of course, guys, sign up to Overbit using the referral link that I have for you to enjoy the 20% sign up bonus. No, that's gonna be something special that's given to us by our uh, great, great, great guest for tonight and the company that he is representing with today. All right, uh, type number one, if you could hear me really quick. Type number one, I think everyone is typing. All right. Uh, okay, so no Tagalog today, huh? <laughs> no Tagalog today because we have, a, we have a, a special guest who I'm not sure understands Tagalog. So we need to make sure we speak not in the vernacular. Anyways, I was just talking to him earlier and um, really good guy. Now let me just do a quick introduction about uh, Chi. And we, we will further uh, eventually uh, put him on the screen. I'm sure you're actually um, excited to see Chi so far. And again, the question is, who is more handsome? Is it Chi or the raccoon? No? <laughs> the raccoon is Global Miranda Minor eventually. Uh, anyway, so uh, there's no question about that. No, There's no question about that. I'm sure it's going to be uh, the guest. No? It's, it, the raccoon is just a supporter. <laughs> All right, before I officially... Uh, introduced our guest or before i uh, show to show to you guys um our live video let me just do a quick introduction I, as i've said i have a very very special guest for tonight no he is he used to be uh way back 2010 obviously uh from from an from an education perspective he uh took a uh, and finished his bachelor's degree of computer science in california state polytechnic university in P pomona uh and uh, after that, he actually worked as an insurance associate from MetLife in Los Angeles there in L.A. in the West Coast. And obviously, after that, he worked uh, all his way up to becoming a founder and CEO of Overbit. He has been in the he has been in this gig for three years already. And I'll obviously have him introduce Overbit to all of us. But obviously, this guy is a very, uh, you know, special guy because he is an international evangelist of blockchain and crypto sphere you know just like coach miranda minor i do would like to evangelize cryptocurrency uh it's good that we have another evangelist uh and this time a ceo you know, of overbit he obviously stumbled across bitcoin and cryptocurrency while studying computer science in california state polytechnic university in the u.s uh a right and a left thinker she is a frontier with an entrepreneurial spirit who worked as an advisor for several financial investments helping to introduce blockchain education into Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Chinese market. There you go. Um, he is, uh, he, he, is uh, he motivates and educates businesses on how to leverage blockchain. This is a really good topic, guys. Uh, technology in the fintech industry, and he loves media. Loved by the media, she has been featured across Yahoo Finance, Market Insider, Finance Magnets, and more. And of course, that's, that is... Obviously, because we're very, very proud because uh, we're, we're happy to have him in our channel for today. Without further ado, let me introduce to you. Uh, let me just make sure I do have all the right setups here real quick. Let me just introduce to you our guest for today. Hey, Chi, you're live on screen right now. Say hello to everyone in the Global Miranda, Miranda Minor Group. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? We're very excited to have you today, Chi. And... Um, I know you're based in Hong Kong. We're in the same time zone. Yep. <laughs> and thank you for giving us your time. I know you're a very, very busy man. No, it's already uh -huh. 10 o'clock there. And uh, uh, same as you. Uh, and by the way, guys, you know, uh, she, she, like myself, 
We both have a love, uh, a very loving daughter, you know. And if you hear any background, pardon us. That's because that's part of a being a parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, part of being a parent. So he has a two-month-old bundle of joy. No, congratulations to you, my friend. And same Thank as you. me, I have a three-year-old daughter here, and uh, apparently she's still, uh, still, she's already sleeping in her in her room. Anyways, so why don't you give us a little bit of introduction about Overbitchy, and maybe tell us some, tell us all of our viewers. You know, what is what is Overbit, you know, and, and anything that's interesting about the company? All right, cool. So my name is Chi, and I'm CEO of Overbit. And uh, Overbit is a Bitcoin uh, marginal trading platform. Um, although I'm based in uh, Hong Kong, the, the office is in, in Singapore. It just, unfortunately, I just can't, can't travel uh, more than one year. And <laughs> anyways... Uh, Overbit is uh, like it's a Bitcoin margin trading platform. We offer not only trading in crypto but also in forex and commodities. So uh, you can use Bitcoin or Tether to trade against like, those three categories with uh, leverage up to five hundred x. Wow, five hundred x! Interesting, interesting, interesting. And uh, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, you you uh, founded the company way back twenty eighteen, right? And uh, yeah. and and your headquarters is based in Singapore. You said correct. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, so you know today's session, uh, guys. So so all of our viewers today, our session today is very very special because you know, and, and with that great background from a great company from Xi, you know, uh, I'm sure he's going to be able to give us a lot of great insights you know the question that we have today that we would like to, to be able to give an insight on is about the topic of cryptocurrency you know what is happening in the crypto cryptocurrency space you know within the pandemic what are the challenges and stuff like that we would like to be able to discuss the cryptocurrency landscape in the midst of the pandemic uh, and without further ado why don't we start this right now chi right so um i, I would like to ask you you know with your background with your awesome background i'd like to ask you um how would you define uh the crypto traders and their personas their behaviors on the spot in derivatives trading during the midst of the pandemic i'm sure you've seen this right and i'm sure mm -hmm. you probably have seen those changes but how would you define in your perspective you know how are they what's their persona during the pandemic oh well if we just talk about during the uh pandemic uh let's talk about like because uh before talking about the trader uh behaviors yeah we actually did a survey on this and the time actually was just during the pandemic so we are uh able to uh, for this time like uh i think it's when, when was this dude i think this is three to four months ago did this survey okay, okay. so it's quite it's still quite new and we can see uh right now that the range of people trading in in uh in general okay we are not doing the survey just for overbit we are going to doing the survey trade across any platform all right so it's, it's over three thousand uh person okay to, to participate in this kind of survey so um we, we arrange in different like demographic. So there's a young traders where it's around um, 20, uh, below 18 up to 34 age. And most of them identify themselves are novice traders. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that that's understandable because uh, we are quite young and uh, the time to experience in trading, not only in crypto, but in traditional trading uh, still like they have less experience in uh, compared to others and then um in the survey report actually 60 percent of the people identify themselves are you know occasional traders so they only have one to two years training experience and this is really what we expected and if you compare to 2020 the resource uh it's quite the same but well uh, we have we see a little bit increase of no vice trader, and I can talk about more on on this later on when we uh, get back to this kind of questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also that um, the surface, although like sixty percent uh, have 
one to two years. The rest of them are actually have three to more years on, on crypto trading. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can see divide the two group, you know, 60% are more no fives, uh, 40% are more, you know, uh, intermediate. Okay. 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 Yep. So, so basically what you're saying is there are novice traders, no? And their age is 25. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm, I'm a novice trader too. <laughs> Yeah, we look, we look, uh, you know, we're guys, she and I are just below 18, you know that, right? So you need to agree. <laughs> type one if you agree, okay? <laughs> All right, so there are, there are types of traders, you know, you said you have the novice trader and you have the mature traders, very good. And then from, uh, and, and those from that particular survey, 60% uh, identify themselves as an occasional cryptocurrency user. Average of one to two years, huh? it's quite quite relatively short, no? From a, from an experience perspective, all right. Yeah. Um, tell us something about uh, traders' awareness. You know, are, are, what's their awareness from your survey uh, of cryptocurrency as an asset? What, what, what do you mean by awareness? So, As in, so the traders' awareness of cryptocurrency as an asset. So your survey, mm -hmm. um, your survey is showing that. Yeah, so they, they, they show that um, around 40, 41% okay. like they have been aware of this crypto assets more than three years. So people are actually uh, quite into a crypto space, although uh, I probably have, will have more number later on to show sure. what percentage of this group of people actually trade. Because, you know, people might be aware of, let's say, Bitcoin, but then they are they're probably not a trader they just know there's a big point okay yeah no and, and that's a good point right because I, I think from an awareness perspective considering it's still a relatively young industry i mean uh, to be honest i mean cryptocurrency has been with us just for a decade just you know uh, one third of my life right so i mean it's a relatively <laughs> young space so i'm sure i'm sure there's a lot of things that people don't know yet so speaking of those things so tell us something about you know, obviously, as a crypto uh, enthusiast, they need to have a trader platform, right? They need to have, uh, you know, a place where they could put their funds, they could trade. So, give me some of the choices that traders show when they're mm -hmm. selecting a crypto exchange. Okay. I can, first, let me show how I choose a, 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 a exchange. Because sure. before I, I established over bid, I, I was a trader too. And not only in crypto, but in Forex. So the first first uh, step for me to choose a, a, a platform would be uh, reliability. Sure. Which means, you know, connection and then the speed. Okay. So this is what I concern, especially in Forex, because Forex, they, they tend to have like a really high leverage. So you have to really good have a, a reliability on, on those exchange. Secondly, um, for me, it comes to will be a security because I, I need to know whether this platform is legit or whether this platform, you know, the deposit and withdraw uh, without any questions, without any delay. So this is something I, I need to look at it, especially when we talk about in crypto. There's one more thing on top of uh, crypto is the wallet. If you talk about Forex, it's quite straightforward because we just use, you know, credit card or, or bank deposit. But uh, uh, in, in, in crypto, there's this new thing called wallet. And, 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 you know, our users have to use a wallet to, to, uh, to store their assets and as well as the, the, the exchange. The exchange has to have a wallet mm -hmm. to, to secure the users, the traders' assets. So this is something I, I really need to look at. It. And being an international platform, you also have to have a really good, you know, customer service. Also language, right? That's uh, right. That's right. For example, I'm not really good at English, as you can tell. So I probably will look at in Chinese language, or I want to have some Chinese support to support my, you know, my issues. So this is something I, I would like to have in my platform. And for for this. This stuff and actually we, we do a survey and actually the first really uh, the top concern is security mm -hmm. our, our survey showed that most of the people uh, really want to look at the security size of, of the exchange 
because as you can see throughout the years we have been look at like now we can see many exchanges have been hacked and some are luckily can be covered some of them just you know they cannot cover the losses and so this will be and always will be the uh, big issue for any exchange so for for every bit we we are trying to keep on top of this uh we are using a multi-signature wallet to to keep uh, users assets and also we have a white hacker within the team to look at our own system like we will make sure the system run like day by day so many by minutes okay yeah no that, that's a very good point right and uh, just as you know the global miranda miner group we have viewers from singapore we have uh groups from the us we have groups from uh europe uh, abu dhabi etc and and i totally understand what you're trying to say because you know some of some of our uh, viewers and obviously their friends uh, they have valid concerns on security and i think you raise a very good point that uh, security and uh, reliability language selection and customer service are paramount you know for a crypto exchange right so um, I, I think uh, another question as a follow-up is, you know, to your point earlier, many traders have lost their crypto funds, right? So can you share to us any, what are the reasons that you, in your experience, what, why do traders would lose their funds in a crypto exchange? Okay. Uh, I can share this from my own uh, personal experience. Yeah. Too. So uh, back in, back in 2000, I think 15 or 16, you know, the, uh, I think during that time, the only marginal trading, crypto marginal trading platform was BigMax. Okay. I was trading there and the, the, the interface is quite, you know, they, they provide phenomenal interface. They, they provide phenomenal features to, to people. Probably at that time, my, my knowledge, my, it's just my expertise is not good enough to you know use that platform so i i think i lost eight bitcoin during that time oh just due to my personal error okay, okay but you know at that time back eight bitcoin was probably four to five thousand so so it, it's it's okay right but then yeah. if you look at this today right now eight bitcoin is quite a lot and so this this kind of stuff will happen to many people and in survey in fact uh, I can have a number is 33.6 of the Nova trader would you know lose their crypto due to personal error. So I think lots of people had the same thing. Like they don't know how to you know how to go to the platform. They probably don't know the features of the platform, mm -hmm. and they need to they lose their their crypto. Yeah, they're and probably they're probably sending ERC twenty two BSC. Or BEP, the wrong wallet. Yeah. They're probably forgetting their seed phrases, you know, and forever their assets are locked, stuff, stuff, stuff mm -hmm. like that, right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And also, not only Nova Trader, forty nine percent of the professional traders also, you know, lose their crypto by personal error. So mm -hmm. this is something. Uh, I think this is more we need to educate ourselves as well as the the platform, the exchange, including Overbeat. Right. Have to, you know, have to provide a really step by step, a, a really detailed guidance to the people where to eliminate this this uh this percentage of you know making a personal error. So this is something um we are trying to work on, and I hope for us for any other traders, uh, make sure you, you know, if the platform has a demo trading. Mm -hmm use it first because it's free you know free demo trading which you have free money to try try the try the features first there's tons of you know there's over four to five thousand exchange crypto exchange out there right now so you should try it and then if you like it and then if you see this platform is su suitable for you then you can use it if something that doesn't make sense for you or you just don't know how that feature work you probably just you can just switch to other uh platform and overbeat of course we provide a demo trading so feel free to use it if you don't like it you can move on to other if you like it you can stick with us you know 
So, and in, uh, another point to look at is if not only uh, they lose their crypto not by personal error, but by exchange, uh, exchange hack was, I think, around 10% of the people from our survey, they have experience on this. And like I said, there's, you know, been a big hack uh, in a couple of big exchange. I don't want to name it, but, um, you know, so the hacker always try to find a way to attack those exchange, including us. So uh, it just matter how good, how we are well prepared mm -hmm. for that. And uh, I think that is the business level to the exchange. Yeah. Other than that, you guys should should take care of your own personal air. Yeah, no, that, that's a good one. And and just just when you mentioned about Overbit, and and you know, I have a, I have a Miranda Minor University, and in fact, I have a class on August twenty one, and I already have almost a hundred students there, both intermediate and beginner. And I have been doing this uh, since June of this year, and I've already have almost seven hundred students or graduates. Uh, I've been I've been uh, I've been sharing Overbit as a demo platform. I think it's a very cool feature. Um, and and uh, I mean, full disclosure, I've been teaching Binance in in all of my playlists, but Binance doesn't have a demo feature. And I think you guys made a very good job in Overbit of giving us an opportunity to do demo trades and for us to be able to do some back testing. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those kind of cool stuff just because there's a demo trade. So really, really good stuff from Overbit. So thank you, guys. Um, all right. So let's move on to our question, another question here, right? And uh, let me just try to uh, pitch in, uh, if you don't mind, Chia. I would like to kind of read one of the interesting questions here in the chat. Uh, the, the question of the viewer is, are you guys planning to have a, so, uh, a, a, a mobile app for Overbit? Yes, this is uh we will release it this year, definitely. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Look, you have an answer already. There is a plan for a mobile app for Overbit. Well, done. actually, the prototype is up. We're just uh, waiting for the timing to uh to to release it, because there are some couple of features we want to add in. Uh, one I would tell you is including some uh social trading. So social trading is kind of a a, a train right now, mm -hmm. uh, which I think uh we would like to implement to our system. Uh, but we have to be careful of how we want this. You know, social trading is copy trading. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah you know, so people follow uh, uh, traders to just follow their orders. And this has to be careful because we are a market on trading platform, which uh, your position will be liquidated if you, you know, if your, if your fund is not equal to that copy trader's fund. Yeah, yeah. So this had to be really need to be careful and I have my personally I have been testing a couple of different copy trading platform okay. in either Forex or crypto mm -hmm. and yes some of the feature is just uh, there's still uh, we can say a, a gray area where the platform isn't you know uh, isn't disclosed at all, like really transparent so I've lost some of my phone in different platforms so uh, we are still in the testing stage. So uh, the app, we are aiming to uh, launch this year. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Speaking of trading, uh, talk to us uh, about your perspective. You know, do, do traders normally trade on weekends or weekdays? Uh, we can see. Well, they, they, uh, if you want to separate in different categories, uh, more professional traders, they, tra they, they trade throughout the week either weekday or week weekend because okay. uh, as you know crypto is 24 7 so they they would like to grab you know as much uh, up the opportunity window as possible so and for for no five traders uh we can see they 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 trade more towards weekend i'm i'm guessing they have to learn you know and also they probably have day job yeah, to do right. so right. yeah. uh we can see this okay Okay, and then uh, you know what are the? Can you share to us more about the different types of crypto traders? What are their purchasing patterns based on your survey? Okay, so um, we can see the survey is fifty seven percent of the 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 the, 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 the participant have already made a purchase in 
this year. Okay, so that's more than half. And to be honest, my expectation is more than that. Mm -hmm. You know, because this survey we are tend to focus on more trader, you know, trader surface. So and and I can see only half of the people purchase um crypto in twenty twenty one. And the other reason why that percentage is not my expectation is I think is during the pandemic some of the people probably will just use what they have been purchased you know the year before right mm -hmm. and from from uh, for example like i i think for myself i i didn't purchase as much as compared to last year okay so i think most uh, some of people probably follow the same step as me mm -hmm. and well even though like you know crypto market is is really volatile and you know high risk but in the surface is over 80 percent of the people they, they believe that uh in crypto market is more profitable and uh, yes because you know crypto is more crypto market is more volatile yeah so that's true high risk high return <laughs> you know I, I did not take your survey but i tend to agree with the result because i i, I also trade in uh stock market in uh, both in the US and in the Philippines. And I also did try to trade Forex. And uh, mm -hmm. for me, I love the volatility of crypto. And if you really uh, know how to trade, you could definitely earn 10x, 11x of your profits, right? So yeah. really good. Okay, so another follow-up question for you is, um, let's, let's talk about the Bitcoin adoption, right? So obviously people are talking about Bitcoins. I have friends who are maximalists. They really think that Bitcoin is the superior coin of all coins and nothing else right but let's talk about adoption because and, and by the way just as you know she i've actually um had the same question with all of my viewers and um mm -hmm. you know it's it's uh, at, at least in the philippines perspective just to kind of give you some context in the philippines while crypto is becoming known but our entry point in knowing crypto is more of nfts right more of nfts not on the legacy bitcoin from an awareness perspective but you know in your perspective right can you share to us a little bit about the bitcoin adoption and which which asset do you think is more profitable which assets you mean which crypto assets right? correct that's correct okay so first uh bitcoin adoption uh if we look at the survey i i would believe probably you will share the survey report to your audience later right yep i, uh, will. I, hope. I will yeah cool then they can look at this in detail so eighty three percent of the 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 the, the participants actually say they have hold or held a uh, Bitcoin some point you know at least some point past years. So that's quite a lot. Which I think uh, for me, uh, well, I'm not I'm not below eighteen actually. <laughs> but yeah, for me actually the the first assets crypto assets I have been aware of is Bitcoin. Uh, that is back in back in 2014 oh, nice. so well well that is because at that time we only have you know bitcoin, bitcoin. and later on ethereum, ethereum right yeah so so the, the bitcoin adoption right now as you say uh people right now probably is from nft or d5 and however bitcoin is still really a uh, you know just a, as an og you know og at, in in crypto mm -hmm. where most of the people also believe that Bitcoin is a safe haven, and then compared to a gold, dig, uh, a physical gold, digital gold, correct. Most people will say Bitcoin is a digital gold, and and even some of the people and myself also believe that Bitcoin will become probably will become world reserve currency. So, so this is something that uh, Bitcoin adoption is become. You know, people will just keep coming, even mm -hmm. individual or institutional and later on we probably will jump into more uh, question into institutional question so i will talk about why the institutional will you know will purchase a lot in, in yeah that, that's a lot of power in, in bitcoin instead of ethereum or ripple right i was so, i was just telling sorry mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt uh gee i was telling the audience Last week, that Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy just just bought almost half a billion 
uh, worth of Bitcoin, not over OTC, but uh, they, they just bought almost half a billion way back the time when uh, Bitcoin was actually on a bear market of 29,000 USDT per, mm -hmm. per coin, right? So I think to your point, there's a lot of institutional uh, adoption most lately. And most recently, there was um, an Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey debate uh, supported by ARC invest uh from from kp uh wood right and they were talking about yeah. institutional adoption so i think you're, you're very much correct i mean for for the most part what we're seeing now at least from a retailer perspective is that there's a lot of more institutions today who are really advising to put bitcoin in their balance sheets yeah and actually because i've lived in hong kong and when i travel to japan like i can see you can even years ago like back in three to four years ago i can I can purchase sushi with Bitcoin. You know, I can buy some electricity. I actually bought a camera with my Bitcoin. Oh, you know, wow. in in Japan. So, so in, in in probably in Asia, um, I don't know if probably especially in Japan, they they already have a really lead leading on this Bitcoin uh, adoption. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, so talk to me about about bitcoin why do you think it's volatile maybe on a very high level why do you think bitcoin is volatile and uh, wh why are why are the institutions interested about bitcoin okay bitcoin is as far as how first is we can see is entirely a free market for everyone okay a free market means this bitcoin is not supported by any government right mm -hmm. there's no support by central bank it's decentralized and also bitcoin's uh, scarcity you know like the, the 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 supply had well we said right 20 21, 21 million yeah so so as you can see and this will already have an interest for people that want to be able to trade freely on the market without any support of sort of government or institution this will create a lot of volatile volatility in in in, in this market being a free market okay mm -hmm. as, and like, as you see if we can talk about trading stock if something happened you know let's say 50 percent up or 50 percent down the the regulation will just come in and the government will just come in you know they will just look at this what happened and then probably there will be some legal illegal action towards this stock or mm -hmm. towards this market so yeah. and that will be limit the, the volatility of of that particular market and with crypto or bitcoin like there's no limitation to to this and obviously uh we have heard lots of bad news say that bitcoin is using you know back uh black market you know so so uh well unfortunately those people have to find a way to you know transfer the money and this is how the world is and i am not going to comment more on, on that part mm -hmm. but being a free market i would say this is how we cost this volatility sure so 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 let me just uh insert a little bit of a question here in, in the yeah. chat room uh is there a chance that i think they really like overbit right so there's a question here is there a chance that Overbit will have an Overbit card that they can use in our daily basis? I mean, if I can turn my asset into a USD uh, and it, it is, it, it's inside the Overbit card and used for transactions locally, is that something that you guys are looking at in the long run? Uh, no, I would say no. I w we would like to uh, maintain Overbit as a trading platform only. Okay. You know, uh, we don't want to put too much feature especially when we across uh let's say you know some of the crypto uh company or, or exchange they want to uh, input like credit card deposit sure. right mm -hmm. so this has to go through with third party and since over uh a exchange i would say is working some something like bank because you know millions of millions of millions of assets from the users are actually stored in uh, and uh, in an exchange right but we cannot uh really to risk about you know your access uh, access in, in overbit so we want to stay as 
uh, as simple as possible. The purpose for us is just providing the best trading experience to the to the users, mm -hmm. and we want to just maintain this as an, our main target. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you the question number three. Another question now. Let's talk about altcoin adoption, right? So you spoke about Bitcoin adoption. We spoke about uh, Jack Dorsey, Tesla, Elon Musk. We spoke about you know the factors that could drive Bitcoin adoption. But from an altcoin adoption perspective, uh, you know NFTs adoption in the Philippines is really high. In fact, uh, based on our research. Uh, one of the biggest users of NFT from a market share perspective is from the Philippines, right? So, oh. you know, Axie Infinity is one of the biggest regions you, utilizing uh, Axie is from the Philippines. But in your perspective, why um, with altcoin adoption such as DeFi and NFTs are on the high, which asset is more profitable in your opinion? Uh, is that okay? I asked you a question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because I, I personally, I, I don't like i not not really like or dislike i just don't know uh, nft how would become in the future so i would like to ask you like would you purchase purchase any nft and why or why not whoa okay so you know <laughs> uh in in my and, and and it's okay because my my followers know this right i i have I have my discipline and my wallets and i i always have bitcoin which i don't touch I only add, and I do trade altcoins. But from an N NFT perspective, because I also have an Axie team, which I offer to the community because uh, I, I, I have scholars today, as I call them, um, the only reason why I'm going to buy NFTs is because I'd like to trade NFTs. Uh, for example, uh, SOP uh, as, a, as a token, uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to trade them. Uh, but from a longevity perspective, I think uh, it's really more of the tokenomics that I'm interested about when I say uh, NFTs. But if, if you're talking about, am I going to hoard NFTs in my wallet? No, I'm going to oh. trade them for the most part. I see. So as in uh, trading assets, I would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Okay. cool. Yeah, so for, for me, I personally don't look at NFT too much. So uh, uh, I'm more interested in, in DeFi. Uh, DeFi is a good, really good financial uh, product for, for most of the people and if you compare it to traditional uh, financial product uh, you can make more you know more profit and lower risk I would say mm -hmm. in, in DeFi compared to tr uh, traditional mm -hmm. I'm not talking about trading but talking about you know yield farming and yield just farming. simply saving or swap you know device uh, so so this kind of stuff are actually uh good for us we have more you know more options for us to really diversify our assets into different classes so and uh, however this DeFi is is really hard to explain to people not familiar in crypto mm -hmm. even if in crypto you know DeFi have been in different category and also uh there have been different i would say the, the 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 evolution of DeFi is quite quick. As you can see, unit swap is already V3, right? Mm -hmm. And we are not talking about DeFi live in that case, you know, we, so that that you know that evolution is really, really quick and for people to really catch on that I would say not many people would catch like for example, what is unified? I mean, unified B one versus three B three. I can I cannot even explain to you because I'm not that you know uh, really into look at each different like the, the 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 technology part of that. So uh, for normal people to get into this space, I would say they have they need to have more time, and I would love to have see some. Uh, platform or website that can actually help us to to explain more DeFi or NFT and make, make you know make more adoption into mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I, I think that would be good in general for all, uh, all of us. Is, is that is that something to, I mean on that same breath is that something that you guys are planning in the future potentially having more uh, number one having more coin pairs in overbit number two potentially having 
you know, DeFi within Overbit as well? Or you guys were going to be sticking with the pure trading for now? We will stay with pure trading. However, we will in, uh, in, include some DeFi, uh, DeFi tokens. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely what we will do. Um, but now we, we, we probably won't uh, offer DeFi product. Okay, understood. Okay. All right, so let's talk about uh, just a, a phone-in question here. By the way, so thank you for all the questions on the chat. Thank you to Nico. We're already able to answer the Overbit card. And to Luke Skywalker, thank you for that question earlier. Uh, another question here, I think, yeah, okay. So for D, we're able to answer your question. It looks like they're, they're going to add more coin pairs in the future. All right, so let me just check if there's any other questions here. Uh, someone is asking from the U.S. today, is there any plan for you guys to be open in the United States uh, territory anytime soon or it's going to be long term? Oh, it's going to be long time, I think. You know, U.S. Regula regulation is really complicated and then uh, not at the moment. We probably don't have enough resource or manpower to really focus on the U.S. part. And we're just, I think you're absolutely correct. And we're just talking about, I just explained to the entire uh, audience, I think this week, the infrastructure bill, how the government is really micromanaging the uh, derivatives industry in the States, right? So interesting, interesting. All right. So let's go with the questions again. Uh, by the way, uh, are you, are, you're, you're Chinese, of course, by descent, correct? Yeah. Why don't you, I think we have some Filipino Chinese uh, in the audience. Why don't you greet everyone good evening in your language? You know, it, it sounds, it, I don't know, I don't, uh, it, it sounds very good in my ears, although I didn't understand <laughs> anything. <laughs> All right. Speaking of, um, speaking of uh, China, and of course you are Chinese by descent. So let's talk about crypto mining, right? So let's talk about crypto mm -hmm. mining. What is your opinion about crypto mining, you know, your, based on your experience? Talk to us something about your opinion in crypto mining for the most part. Crypto mining, uh, well, my opinion in crypto mining, well, uh, are you already we talk about proof of work, like Bitcoin mining? So, let, let, sorry, let's talk about first the crypto mining crackdown in China. And because I've been teaching, I've been talking about, you know, it looks like it's moving all to the U.S. In fact, I have few viewers in Maryland. You know, it looks like it's going there in the states. Uh, talk to us something about the crypto mining crackdown in China and what. Yeah, the yeah. Is so, future. Chinese government decided to you know crack down the mining. It just it, it just their decision, and then for the miners, they have to find a way to survive, right? So, where, what they can do is they can they have to move to to the to the west. So either states, Canada, Ireland, like, like those more upper area where. They can have less uh, energy consuming. I mean, the, as in the price. So they have to find a way to do it. And uh, for myself, if you look at the crypto mining, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the, the 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 energy consumption mm -hmm. of that part, because uh, not not all of the crypto assets are doing mining. I mean, as in uh, proof of work, where right. you you need to use your computer power to, to generate new coins. Uh, but uh, so like, like Elon Musk, you know, a couple months ago, they like he he said Tesla is going to support, you know, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And then later on, he said Bit uh, Bitcoin not accepted. And then now he said probably will come back. So you now he's really playing around with his comment and then lead us into a really a panic, mm -hmm. panic mode. Yeah. <laughs> as in the pricing <laughs> but um in general uh if you are a miner then uh you want to keep mining i mean i mean talking about bitcoin okay you want to keep mining bitcoin so you have to find a place to do it do so and uh you just uh i don't not really worry about the crackdown in china yeah okay and, and i think to your point you know it's it's potentially a short-term impact because you know the coins are Ethereum, for example, is moving in a proof of stake now than proof of work, right? Yeah. So, okay, understood. Okay, and uh, another phone-in question, and again, I don't think I need to ask you of any signals here, but maybe on a very high level, what do you think is what? What's your perspective on the current market today? Do you see some bullishness about BTC? Again, this is just a phone-in question for you. you. Don't need to answer if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin will 
will be 100k. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, yes, uh, we can see some recovery. Like I know a couple of months, uh, not probably two to two, three months ago, the, the market was, was kind of quiet. And let me check right now. Yeah, uh, the price are you know going back, and then we or uh, the market cap almost hit two trillions two again, trillion, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that's a really good sign, and you know I I think just a month ago the the market cap was kind of back to one point two something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, we can see really uh the 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 bearish part is finished. I would say, and then is we are looking in a in a, in a in a bullish in a market, market right now. So so okay. I'm happy to to see this happen and. It can Bitcoin cover the all time high with as sixty k above. Uh, obviously, yes. It's just a matter of time. Um, so I'm not going to talk about the time because I would like to know too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. You go, guys. You heard it from Chi and also from myself. We're also both Bitcoin lovers, so you guys know our forecast. All right, let's move on to our next question. Trading in a pandemic environment. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk to us about your observations. You know, how does trading did trading change in the pandemic environment and you know tell us something about the, this particular pandemic and its impact to trading yeah definitely uh in the survey i think more than half the people are actually interested they're in uh their, their interest in in trading uh in crypto trading so uh the reasons why uh, i think you can see is during the pandemic uh even for us most of the people i, I really i told my team to work from home since last year february okay mm -hmm. so it's more than one and a half a year so i think most of the company are you know doing the same thing you want people to work from home to stay stay safe and uh that would lead to people have more time to you know web surfing of course they have to work <laughs> web surfing and they want to find a way to make money right because they are worried about their job and in fact lots of people lost their job in, in, in during this pandemic and it just fortunately we are in this crypto trading platform industry where uh we don't see so much negative impact into our trading mm -hmm. in fact uh, in, instead we see some increase because people are more want to invest not not only in crypto but you know in in in, in uh stocks mm -hmm. forex the friends around me in, in Hong Kong, they all talk about stocks. But myself, I, I don't I don't play stock because uh, I don't have time too much time to look at different market right now. And so my focus is right now is just crypto. And yeah, people are trying to, you know, more people become YouTuber, more people become KOL, they try to make money by not going to become a, a standard people just being employed, you know, yeah, they want to be a boss job, and so. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we can see during the pandemic. And in Hong Kong right now, I would say uh, oh, the pandemic is quite is control under control. You know, we only have I think less than five cases per day, which is uh really blessed. Uh, in Philippines, uh, I I see the case was you know still increasing. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys uh well uh okay okay please stay safe okay. Not, not just pandemic, we also have a typhoon, a volcano, an earthquake, yeah. not just that. So we have a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm making you laugh. I'm making you laugh. All right. So, uh, so I mean, I mean, to your point, in a summary, you're saying that for the most part, the pandemic even pushed people to be online. They have more time to look for a potential trade, you know, because obviously it's online, it's 24-7. And from a volatility perspective, there's volume, there's volatility. So for the most part, it's a potential area that you know people who potentially lost their jobs could could look for an opportunity, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, understood. Um, yeah, I think this pandemic really changed people thinking. Is you know when people working, let's say you know working in a office for decades, and suddenly this come out, and you know he or she lost the job. Probably it's a good time to think. Okay, what kind of way will I can make money, or how how I can make sure my money can you know last longer? So many people are taking you know invest investment class, uh, course you know like to how to manage your your money, 
how to invest. This is something I think people would like to get more, you know, insight or more, you know, news is like how we can make our money last longer. And I think this is a good topic for you later on if you want to share to your audience is, you know, probably it's not like we have to be employed. Probably we have to do something else, you know. Well, you, you, you know, just as you know, I, I used to be a global director for a, from a corporation and I used to work nine to five. Um, and, and my audience know this. I went full time. Uh, I made the decision to go full time as a trader and also a mentor because I teach. I teach uh, my students and I teach online for, uh, you know, uh, crypto analysis, Bitcoin analysis, et cetera, et cetera. And I think there's value. Uh, I've, I've seen the value and. You know, I would have not exchanged my lucrative nine to five job if I don't see value on it, right? Yeah. Anyways, so let me just ask a couple of, if you don't mind, I, I, I'm, uh, I think we're kind of more than the thirty minutes that I've asked no for problem. you. <laughs> All right. So maybe one more question here is online. How do you see Overbit ten to twenty years from now? It's a really long question. <laughs> How do you see Overbit in the future? Twenty to ten to twenty years. Let's just say. Uh, well, I would say it is, uh, of course, we want to run this long, long term, right? However, different countries has their own regulation coming up as well, as you can see, the largest exchange, Binance, is really under pressures by different countries. Mm -hmm. And it's just how the reality is, is each country, they want to protect their people's money. So uh how they can you know uh intervene in this kind of unregulated area it's just a matter of time so uh for us if not i'm not talking if we not don't talk about the regulation mm -hmm. uh, of course 10 to 20 years we would like to offer more uh, trading pairs more features on how uh people will more enjoy to trade in derivative, uh, we have a feature, something uh, we call a reward hub. It just, uh, when you trade or when you do some missions, you will get rewarded. Mm -hmm. And this is something I, I like to have in, in our system because as you know, you are the, you are a daily trader. You probably trade, sometimes you can become dull, right? Mm -hmm. you, you just sit there and watch the, the chart go up and down and then uh, that's it. So we want to be more, uh, how do you say, entertain people where you trade, you can get something back, you know, you can get some point, those points can redeem Bitcoin or Tether. Mm -hmm. And this is not only to make people keep the interest, but also push the people to go over their comfort zone. You know, mm -hmm. when the new beginner come to trading, they probably, you know, scared to use, you know, to step into the first trading. So, so they, they have to have some, this kind of kick to let them really get into the trading. Mm -hmm. I was, okay. I was, I was about to, to say maybe 10 to 20 years from now, she is going to be uh, sipping the uh, very good wine over China because Bitcoin is already Two hundred thousand dollars each. And remember, <laughs> remember, he bought Bitcoin way back twenty fourteen. You would imagine the price back then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So there's another question here, and uh, I, uh, let, let's talk something about uh, inspiration because you know you you look one 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 uh, one audience here commented you look very young and you look very very accomplished. Chi, what is one thing okay. that you'd like to advise for the youngsters? You know. Uh, well, I'm not. The... I'm not young. I'm, well, maybe I'm young. I don't know. I <laughs> I look myself. I'm I'm in thirties, so um, I would say I'm not that young. Okay, but um, my advice is, in in general, okay. Uh, don't how do I say this? Focus what you want to do. All right, or focus what you want to in, invest. So. As you can see, we, we are in the internet age. So you can get the information just in second. Mm -hmm. And you can say, okay, the, the, the stock is this, 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 four X is this, 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 this bond is this, this fund is this, this crypto is this. But 
what what you need to buy or what you need to sell is just you, you need you should pick one or two okay so for myself i i was playing stock before crypto okay uh -huh. and forex right now i stop i stop forex and i stop stock i only focus on uh crypto it just you don't have much time okay you you are not really sitting on the computer 24 7 you know you have life i have my kid you know That's i right. have to yeah. spend i probably 20, uh, <laughs> half of my day to to look at my kid <laughs> so uh yeah pick up something you interest and study that and then just focus on that part so, and so also yeah also diversify your your assets this is important so, so just a little bit about uh, your comments on moving to crypto than stocks, because mm -hmm. I, I, I also went on the same direction. Because um, mm -hmm. I, I, I fell in love with cryptocurrency and everything about it, right? So, is it, is it, is that, is that because a, I mean, to your point, uh, we don't have time to watch the news, and you know, in stock market, you know, you buy on rumor, sell on news, so to speak, right? So obviously, there is an mm -hmm. impact of price action with the news, right? So is 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 that because you think that there's not much news impact to the price of crypto today? I mean, for the most part, crypto, especially Bitcoin, has a very stable fundamentals, right? Uh, is that because you see there's not much impact of the news with cryptocurrency? That's why you kind of move to crypto. Is that one of the factors that you kind of move from from forex to to crypto? No, actually, my main reason was in crypto is just being a free market. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love decentralized. This is something I, I, I really like. Being decentralized, my money isn't being monitored. And this is something that uh, I will see more in the future. So uh, I also I can see the potential in, in, in crypto. You know, you, when I really, the first time I really used Bitcoin to, you know, to buy the to, to buy the camera that really surprised me and i i can see more to more happen in the daily life and that's how it is you know different different market has the potential to to make profit you know i'm not saying that you cannot make 10x in in stock you can mm -hmm. uh it just for me i would say my my experience and my expertise i would have more chance to make 10x in crypto Right. rather than stock because i'm not you know professionally in stock market okay so it depends on what you 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 look at okay 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 you know mm -hmm. with that with that said g you know thank you so much for your time we really appreciate guys let's all type number one to say thank you to chi over chat let's all uh give him a virtual clap and a virtual hurrah <laughs> Type number okay. one in the chat, and again, Chi, very thank you very much for your time. I would like thank to give much. you this time to kind of give last last words uh, to the audience that we have today. And again, mm -hmm. our audience is from the Philippines. We have people from uh, Dubai, Kuwait, uh, Australia, New Zealand. We have people from Europe in Italy. I have actually twenty five countries that I've taught already. Ooh. So why don't you nice. give your last few words with the team uh, before we kind of mm -hmm. wrap up today's uh, interview? All right. So yeah, sorry about my for English. I haven't speak, spoken in English for a long time. Uh, hope you guys stay safe, okay? Uh, I know uh, we kind of, you know, the, our body kind of used to this pandemic saying, okay, it just keep happening and then, I don't know, it's kind of being dull, but then again, please get vac a vaccine and then please get vaccinated and then stay safe for investment um uh, like i guess you have to really uh start it don't uh, don't be formal okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't be formal yeah hey again thank you thank you my friend i hope this is not going to be the last one uh feel free to connect uh, I'm, I'm sure junis and i will, will connect with each other feel free to use okay. our platform if there's any big announcements from from overbit we'll definitely feature you guys out and again thank you very much for the time today and uh, you. I'm sure you're going to be very busy because you have your two-month-old bundle of joy there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and uh, I, we appreciate all of your insights, your expert opinion about the cryptocurrency space with your survey uh, this 2021 uh, as all about uh, the cryptocurrency within the pandemic. So thank you very much yeah. and good night. Yeah, please read the survey. This is really uh, good information there. I will definitely share that to the team. And again, I thank you guys, you and Junis. Thank you guys and the whole Overbit family. I appreciate you guys for your time and thanks for your support. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
All right. So that was it, guys. So natuto ba kayo? You guys have learned something about cryptocurrency. Again, Chi and Junis and the Overbit family, thank you guys for all your support. It was a very insightful uh, commentary about Bitcoin. I think it's not every day that we have a guest. And our guest is none other than the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer of Overbit, which is actually present in many countries and is currently operating today. Guys, uh, I, I teach, uh, you guys know I teach the elite university and I've been using Overbit as a demo account, right? So let's all try to support Overbit. And if you sign up, if you sign up using my link, Okay, if you're if you're signing up using my link, you'll be able to get a 20% signing bonus in, in, in Overbit. So I will have the link posted. Okay, I will link I will post the link uh in um uh, in uh, in our social media page and sign up and for you to be able to get 20% signing bonus. All right. So whoo <laughs> Nakapag, makapag Tagalog na tayo, okay? So that was uh, that was a really really good one and uh, now we'll, we'll speak in Tagalog. <laughs> no, but um uh, it's fine. No, I think uh, I, again I'm really really happy and I'm really privileged to have such a, a very great guest and obviously guys, it's not every day that we, that, it's not every day that we have such a guest, right? So let's all uh let's all try to support and let's all try to uh give over a bit you know a chance to be able to be used you no know, as our trading platform and by the way let me just uh, try to make sure i also give you this announcement so guys uh are we ready for the raffle are we ready for the 500 pesos raffle <laughs> Nang naubos daw yung ta- ano naubos daw yung dugo naubos daw yung dugo ni Damon Frost sabi niya i'm relief <laughs> sabi ni Rad <laughs> all right so let me just make sure I open something real quick here. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, let's just do the thumbnails. Okay, guys, our special Sunday hurrah is not yet done. Saturday hurrah is not yet done because August is really, really, really special. No, we have actually a very special guest as well, no? Uh, we're going to be having a very special guest this coming August 28th. Our August 28th guest is coming from a company called Pro Life of UK. It's going to be also our Saturday Crypto Night Live. Okay, magalala sila ay Tagalog, no? They speak Tagalog and uh, their name is in here. So we're gonna, we're happy to have uh, a very special guest, none other than Terry Rumbawa. Wealth Management Consultant, Certified Investment Advisor, and District Manager from Pro Life of UK, to be supported by Ren Balisong, Financial Consultant, Certified Investment Advisor, and Content Creator. We will have them as a guest on August 28th. August 28th, Crypto Night Live. Crypto Night Live, we're going to be having them as a guest on August 28th. And let's talk about your income. Now, how can we protect your income? And how can we protect your profit while trading and investing in crypto or stocks? I think it's a very, very important topic that we all need to hear. And I think we're hearing it. We're hearing it from um, we're hearing it from the industry experts, you know, from a, from a, an expertise perspective. You no, know? so I'm very, very excited. So I'm going. I'm looking forward to to talk with. Uh, Terry and Ren, no, uh, to be able to hear their insights. Sana kayo din, you know? Sana in, you're also interested. You're also willing to hear their insights. Paano ba, ano ba, paano ba uh, protektahan ng iyong income at ang iyong profit habang nagtitrade? And while you are investing, no, in cryptocurrency or stocks. All right. So are we ready for the raffle? Let me just talk to the moderators. Are we ready for the raffle? Um... Choi and Nida, can you guys, uh, or uh, Choi, Nida, or Ira, can you guys ping me the, the, ano, the, the comment picker? The comment picker, please ping to me the comment picker. Let's now choose who is going to be the winner from our video yesterday. Okay? The winner for 500 pesos today. Okay, let's just try to wait for the marketing team. All 
All right. Let me try to open. Okay. And uh, Ira, can you also send me the URL of the video we need to pick, please? Okay, let's now see who's going to be the winner. Okay, guys, it's 500 pesos every day uh, to be credited to your account. Just comment, no? Just comment, and let's see who's going to be the winner. All right. Sino kayang mananalo? Na-excite na si Coach. <laughs> okay. All right, let me just try to open the raffle. Okay, this person is going to win 500 pesos. Guys, hindi pa tapos yung promotion natin if you want to win a Samsung iPad, a Samsung tablet, ha? Uh, you could still win there, so make sure, okay? All right, let's try to do our raffle comment picker. Let me just try to open it. Just give me a second, okay? Tapos, we were going to credit this to your Binance account. Uh, sorry, uh, Binance account or Overbit account. Because, guys, this promotion is brought to us by uh, Bingbon. No? Thank you, Bingbon, for this particular promotion. Thank you for your support. No? Uh, thank you sa inyo, sa inyong suporta. Teka lang, let me just try to open. Ayan. So, win 500 pesos. Ayan. Daily. You can win 500 pesos daily, one winner from August 13 to September 15. No? Uh, teka lang guys, ha? medyo kailangan buksan yung ano natin dito. Yung ating Chrome. Teka lang ha. Alright. Sabi ni Brain. <laughs> okay, ito na, ito na, ito na. Ayan, let's do a random picker. Tapat nandi dito kapag wala ka dito, pag wala ka dito, undi ka mananalo. So you need to be here, okay? So you need to be here when your name and your comment is chosen. Pag wala ka po dito, it's going to be uh, 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 default. No, another another person should win, okay? Let's try to do this. Pick a random comment. Are you ready? Type one if you're ready. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Loy Orejol Orihuela. Thank you so much, Coach Miranda Minor, for sharing us your knowledge. Alam kong patikim pa lang yung Halmachi strategy, pero very powerful na. Looking forward na maging estudyante nyo someday. Pag nakaipo na ako para sa love fee. I love you 3,000, Coach. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you, Miranda Minor. I believe in Bing Bon. Are you here? Are you here, Loy Oriwela? Are you here, Loy Oriwela? Are you here, Loy Oriwela? Are you here? Okay, magpay pag hindi kay si Loy, ah. <laughs> teka lang, teka lang, teka lang. Kailangan akong bagalan tong ano, teka lang. Are you here, Loy Oruela? Okay, and the, oh yun. Okay, Loy, congratulations. Nakita na kita. Teka lang. Teka lang. Congratulations to you, Loy. Uh, you won 500 uh, pesos. You know, uh, we will actually, yan, we will actually, uh, yan, I pinned your message already. We're actually going to contact you uh, later on. Congratulations for your 500 pesos. Guys, ganyan lang kadali. No? Mag-join ka sa atin by commenting. No? Comment ka lang. No? Comment. No? Uh, hashtag I believe in Bing bon and hashtag thank you Miranda Minor para ikaw ay manalo ng 500 
pesos. Congratulations! Nagtutulo ka na daw. <laughs> Stampede ba? Okay guys, nag-enjoy ba kayo? Tomorrow, meron tayo ulit, no? Tomorrow, we have another raffle. Araw-araw yan, within the next 30 days. 30 days, you will have 500 pesos cash pang trade mo na. So, our marketing team will connect with you. Maraming maraming salamat. Ira, please take note. Loy Orejuela. No? Uh, Choi and Nita, salamat din sa support. No, let's all, uh, uh, let, let's try to contact Loy separately. And guys, again, congratulations. What a very, very wonderful day today. Naku, napaka puno puno po ng araw natin. Again, uh, Chi, if you're still listening, thank you to you and your support and your entire Overbit family. Thank you to Junis. And I hope that's not going to be the last time we will talk to you guys. Feel free, to, feel free to use our channel if you have any major announcements. Feel free to uh, to tell me if you have anything you'd like to say. I could obviously patch you in for an interview. Let me know. And again, uh, guys, 20% uh, bonus for for your for your deposit. Now, if you deposit $100, you get 20% bonus of that if you sign up using my link. All right? So, um, uh, Loy, Loy Orihuela, can you... PM me in my Facebook account. Okay, can you PM me para we can connect with you separately? You know, PM me so we can connect with you separately to credit your 500 pesos within the day. All right, PM me, okay? All right, guys, so with that said, maraming maraming salamat if you're actually in Facebook and if you're actually in uh, YouTube. Thank you to you for your support. We did not live in TikTok today. But again, thank you guys for all of your support. Mahal na mahal ko kayo. And guys, ingat. Alam ko, bull market ngayon, pero hindi hindi ka pwede mag-overtrade. Okay? Huwag mo kakalimutan yan. Do not overtrade. I know it's a bull market today, but do not overtrade. Make sure you plan your trade always. Make sure you plan your trade always. Alright, guys, with that said, Coach Miranda Minor loves all of you. I love you 3,000 and I hope to see you guys tomorrow of our Axi Live TV. Tomorrow, we have our Axi Live TV. And I am very, very happy because we already have not just three, not just four, not just five. We have already six Axie teams in our Miranda Minor family. And there is one more coming. Grabe, 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 grabe. All right, guys, I love you 3,000 and have a good rest of your night. Good night.